morning. Another day, another real world test. Today, we're doing it on the new Apple AirPods Pro 2, or the Apple AirPods Pro 2nd Gen. And if you're not familiar, I'm gonna use my weird little ear and microphone contraption to try my best to show you what they sound like. We'll also compare them to the last model and some of their competitors, all while we explore. But, first things first. Coffee, check. And we're back at Copper Mug, which is a coffee shop I actually haven't been to in a while, even though it's probably the closest coffee shop to my house. And I remember when this place opened right before COVID, and then of course that happened. But then once we were allowed to sit outside during COVID, I used to come here at this frankly awesome backyard and chat with the owner about business and life. And honestly, it's really nice to just see that it's not only still here, but doing well after everything. While we're here though, Let's talk about some of the changes on the AirPods Pro second gen. Firstly, now the case is IPX4 water resistant, as opposed to on the last model, it was just the buds that were. The case now also has to find my precision tracking on it. So before on the old model, if you took the buds out of the case, you could find the buds using Find My, but you couldn't find the case if you lost it. Now the case also shows up. In addition to that, we now have a speaker on the case, which you can use to ping it if you're trying to find it using that Find My. But also it does little audio cues that are kind of nice, like when you set it down to charge, it gives you a little tone to let you know that that's happening. And now for charging the AirPods Pro 2 case, now we'll charge on Apple Watch chargers. It even uses MagSafe and will align itself properly, which is a nice addition for when you don't need to necessarily charge your watch because it still has battery, but you want to charge your AirPods and your phone at the same time, you can use your watch charger to do that. Apple now also includes four ear tips instead of three. So we actually have an extra small now, so they just should help it work for more ears. All right, before we head out of here, let's test the ANC on the new AirPods Pro 2. So we have a new feature for transparency mode called adaptive transparency. And the idea behind that is that it's supposed to take loud sounds in your environment and in real time using algorithms on the AirPods Pro themselves, pull that sound down when it hits over a certain decibel. So taking loud sounds and making them slightly less loud. And I've been using it for a little bit and I will say it's it's a subtle thing, but I do notice it, especially like a, there's been a few times where like motorcycles have gone by and I was always like, oh, oh, not as harsh. Again, it's subtle, but it, it does something. Now, Apple says that this is in part because of the new chipset they have in here, the H2 over the H1 from the last model, and that allowed them to process these algorithms faster, etc. Now, besides the new chipset, we have new skin detect sensors compared to the optical infrared sensors that we had on the last model. And so that just makes in-ear detection a little bit better. And so even though I never really had an issue with the in-ear detection with the last model, this is supposedly better. One of the things they did add though, that I think has been long, long overdue, is the ability to control the volume by swiping up and down on the stem of the AirPods Pro 2. And honestly, this is just a very convenient feature. Other earbuds have had it for a while. It's just nice to see Apple added here and it works well. Swiping up and down is very responsive. It goes up in small increments, that way you don't jump too high or jump too low. But because it is responsive enough, you can swipe up and down to get to those levels that you need pretty quickly. Apple also added a new audio driver and a new custom amplifier into these. And that's supposed to make the sound sound richer clearer, uh, but also boost the bass. And I can't say that, at least to me, someone who is not an audiophile, it does sound better, especially the bass is something that I can tell on these compared to the old models. And just like the last model, they do support spatial audio, which is like 360 audio. It allows you to have a source that supports it along with these AirPods, and you can like tilt your head and the sound will sound like it's still coming from the same direction. And it's, it's actually a pretty neat thing. It confuses me actually sometimes when I'm watching videos on my Mac with the old AirPods even, I would sometimes have to like take them out to just like 
make sure that the sound wasn't coming from the computer because it sounded so much like it was. It's actually kind of crazy. And now Apple has added the ability to do personalized spatial audio, which just allows you to use the Face ID camera on your iPhone to scan your ear shape, and then it'll customize the audio for your specific ear. But you don't need these new AirPods Pro to do that. That'll work with the old ones as well. It's just a new software feature. And by the way, we're currently in a neighborhood called Williamsburg. It's where I've lived for almost the last five years of the 12 years that I've lived in New York City. But back when this was all New Amsterdam and it was a Dutch colony, this is all part of a town called Boswick. Dutch people, let me know if I pronounced that right. But once the English took over in 1664 and renamed New Amsterdam to New York, this town became Bushwick. Now, Williamsburg was an area of Bushwick for a long time. And it was the region where near Grand Street, local farmers, as this was all farmland basically back then, would come to sell their produce, which led to more and more development of the area. At some point, a developer named Jonathan Williams bought land on what is now Metropolitan Avenue. And in 1802, he named the area in honor of himself, like you do. Williamsburg with an H. Now, eventually, as this area grew faster and faster, it became incorporated and separated from Bushwick in 1840. And it somehow lost its H during that time. By 1855, it would be incorporated into the city of Brooklyn. And then in 1898, Brooklyn would become part of New York City and is now one of the five boroughs that make up the city. Okay, and I'd love to show you more about my hood, but uh, we gotta catch a flight. Made the flight, and I'm heading to LA actually for a work event where TCL is launching some new TVs they've asked me to come check out. But considering that I imagine that an airplane is probably up there for the number one use case for active noise canceling headphones, this seemed like a good place to see how the second gen AirPods Pro's supposedly two times better noise canceling does. Now, we also have better battery life than the previous model at a total of six hours of listening with ANC on compared to the 4.5 before. And if you include the battery life you get from the case combined with that, you're looking at 30 hours total instead of the 24 from the last model. Now, I sat with ANC on in the airport lounge while working on my computer and listening to music from the computer on them. And in 30 minutes, I went from 100% to 93%. So doing that not entirely accurate math obviously, of extrapolating that out, that's about seven hours. So I'd say that the six hour claim is probably close at least. And more battery life on our tech, always appreciate. Hi, thank you. Okay, made it to Los Angeles. And while we're here in this hotel room, I wanna test one last thing, and that's how I sound from the phone's microphone right now compared to how I sound on the new AirPods Pro 2 microphones, and if it's any different compared to the AirPods Pro 1. You know, to simulate taking conference calls in hotel rooms like you do. But there we go, rural test done of the Apple AirPods Pro second gen. What do you guys think though, based on this video? Are they worth an upgrade from the AirPods Pro like first gen? Or would you try to find yourself a discounted AirPods Pro first gen over these? I don't know, you guys tell me. Always appreciate hearing your thoughts in the comments below. I'll also leave a link below to the best price I could find on both the first gen and second gen AirPods 
Pro for anyone who's curious about that. But I am exhausted and I, it's, it's time to go to bed. So, good night. <laughs>